Hi guys, this is going to be a quick fire review on my uh, Rimmel London Wonderful mascara. It comes in, you can't see it because of the lighting. In here is awful. Um, yeah, I bought this because they kept promoting it in Superdrug. Every time I went to the desk, they were like, do you want to try the new mascara? In the end, I gave in. Um, I'm not overly keen or majorly keen on Rimmel mascaras. I have got a couple that I do like, but across the board a lot of them i don't like um i was expecting a lot from this because it's an argan oil um conditioning mascara um wonderful sort of gives you the impression that it's going to be wowing to the eyes um but yeah i must admit when i got it home and i tried it i have tried this a couple of times now um and when i got it home i like the brush because i like big brushes there you go that's the brush um when I first opened this, it had the most putrid smell, but um, it doesn't smell now. So maybe once it's been open for a while, it's okay. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not overly impressed with it, to be honest. It didn't do a lot for my lashes. Yes, it made them feel conditioned. Um, yes, they didn't feel like crusty or, what's the word I'm looking for? crusty or dry they they do feel they did feel very soft once the mascara was on but it didn't actually look like I had mascara on I mean it just looked like I had um a real cheapy sort of just quick even a clear it, it didn't really really didn't look like um I had a lot of mascara on they had uh this is in I think this is in black yeah this is in black um yeah just plain black what it says there yeah it's, it's okay for an everyday mascara i must admit i don't like spider eyes you know i don't like the real full-on spider eyes anyway so it didn't do that for me but i have got a couple of mascaras up there which i absolutely love and they're from nyc um they're in the orange tube and the yellow tube i just think those mascaras are fantastic they make my lashes look full they're like 1.99 each i think this was on special offer for 5.99 it has gone up, I think, now to seven or eight ninety nine. Um, yeah, I'm. I won't. Definitely won't be buying this again. It's. It's not a bad, bad, bad mascara. I'm not going to put it down too much because there are so many of you out there that absolutely love Rimmel. But I was personally disappointed with this. Um, the argan oil thing. I don't know if that's that's going to work i don't think it helps to grow your lashes but it helps to condition the lashes but my my lashes aren't unconditioned if you know what i mean um yeah so personally i would say don't bother because it doesn't lash build at all it doesn't make you look like you've got thick lashes it doesn't lengthen in any way whatsoever i think the whole thing with this is it's just supposed to condition your lashes because it's got argan oil in it um but yeah apart from that not overly impressed so it's totally up to you whether you go out and try this if you have tried this and you love it um incidentally if you've tried it and you hate it please comment below um as to what you thought of this um but yeah it's it's not not the best mascara i've ever used i won't repurchase it once it's dried out um yeah, not overly impressed at all. So, there you go. That's my little rant review on the wonderful mascara by Rimmel um, with argan oil. I love the packaging, by the way. That is about the only thing I do love about this, is this gorgeous bronzy packaging. Um, but then Rimmel have always packaged their mascaras nicely. Um, yeah, it's okay. It's, it's not brilliant. An everyday mascara. I will use it until it dries up. <coughs> then i will bin it and forget about it so yeah hope you enjoyed that little review um i'll see you all in my next video and happy shopping guys bye